Bushinetta Gal has been everywhere in South African football. And Pumalanga, Black Aces, Ajax, Golden Arrows, Santos. He's coached in the DRC. He's coached Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, he's got seven trophies in his cabinet from the uh, PSL. And now he finds himself uh, having signed a three-year contract uh, with Orlando Pirates. He's here on Sport at 10 to talk a little bit about that. Starting first and foremost, Mushinetta Gal with apparently... Your time at Orlando Pirates was predicted many, many years ago. That's By who and how? That's a good one. Uh, Zotwa, late Zotwa. The late Zotwa May, Koza. May, uh, 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 soul rest in peace. Uh, we were very good friends, family friends, and we used to go out sometimes with my wife. She came uh, sometimes out to our home. We had some dinner sometimes. and. On those years, she was telling me that one day you're going to be a Pirates. <laughs> and that day has Bacania. come. So one day you're going to be a Bacania. <laughs> and that happened. The day came. Yes. How long did it take you to make a decision? You had offers on the table. Yeah. You could have gone to Saudi Arabia. You could have gone many places in the world that they were looking at you. How long did it take for you to say yes? A split second. Really? Yes. Uh, you don't think about a long time um, about uh, Orlando Pirates. I mean, it's a team that uh, we must say that uh, has so much rich history in South African football since uh, 27. And this is a special year as well. So. Mm. For me, it was not long. Uh, it's a great chairman that you work with. Um, we have fantastic facilities. Uh, everything for us, for the technical squad, is, is provided. Uh, so there is no, no need to think about that. It's an honor. It's a pleasure to work with, uh, with a team from that magnitude for any coach. But the pressure comes as we look at some of the shots uh, of training already. The pressure on you is seven trophies already in your personal cabinet, but none of them a league trophy. In South Africa? Yeah. None of them a league trophy in South Africa. Okay, let's South talk Africa. about that in the PSL. <laughs> that is something I'm sure Bucks will be expecting from you. Uh, I mean, you cannot come into um, a team from that magnitude and say, you're going to be in the top eight. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is not... Well, a, I mean, yeah. No, uh, it's very clearly. That anything on the ma market what blinks, you need to go for it. So mm. it's very clearly, we know that. Uh, I'm long in this business to know that I coached in three continents and uh, also... In their, in, the, in, in, in their history, in the clubs where I coached, all big clubs. So I think uh, we know very much what is expected. Uh, you've been on a helm that uh, success has been needed. Obviously, the last couple of years was not uh, was a bit eluded. What I can say that in the, in the couple of um, days that we've been together with the team is that uh, I can see that there's a, one fantastic team growing. Uh, great players with great abilities. So we just need to finalise a fine orchestra that has uh, fine tuning. Speaking of finalizing and the orchestra and putting it together, you have a philosophy on young players, bringing the age of Orlando Pirates' squad down. Why? Um, why? Is, again, look, get, uh, it's very much fresh in our minds. Go a little bit back on last season, Black Aces. There was a one boy, which been, uh, he's been the young player of the year now. Uh, Obri Modiba. One season before, he was not playing one game by the PSL. Mm. He played six games or seven games in the MDC. And that not full. So just imagine a player that six or seven games played in the MDC becomes the player on, uh, of the year in the PSL. You have hundreds of that in South Africa. I can say that it's not only me. That uh, I've been now uh, fortunate enough and the passion enough uh, to go to go to these youngsters because they have so much potential. We just need to give them the possibility and the right approach. There was last season also Tabanudada, which we not taught enough. Is mm. a great player. Judas Muslimi, the two of them are already now is under 23 national team, which have never been. So in Europe, that would never happen. Um, obviously, I think the, the potential of these youngsters to get very quickly in and learn and grow, it's, uh, it's higher than, let me say, an elderly player. So you also need the elderly ones. Can I tell you, we've had this conversation um, privately at some point where we spoke about showboating and uh, stylish players and South African style. And what's your position on that? It's very clearly, so long that it's effective, because in the end, 90% of the goals happen uh, in the box. So no. standing on the ball in jail. Doesn't make sense. Making so the crowd enjoy the game. <laughs> that's, that's nice. But in the end, um, the skill has to be used to eliminate players. The skill has to be used to get into the certain areas. It's not, uh, let's say, affecting other ones or insulting other, other opponents. You have to respect the opponents. Mm. That's the first thing. Secondly, um, is that I think there's a perception in there, in, 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 in skillful. So if uh, the game is today played under, under two seconds, so that means if everybody do, uh, does that, just imagine that and fine tune orchestra, suddenly everyone does his own thing. Nobody will listen to that. Mm. So it will, be, it will be one or two times, and then two times won't be listened. So you need to have a fine tune orchestra that anyone knows what he's doing. Can we expect then from a Mushin Etugal coached Orlando Pirates 
more purpose. That I can guarantee you. We will have purpose, we, have, uh, we will have direct lines. Uh, we have also uh, very much skillful players, which we won't eliminate them in their skillful part. So if the player needs to be eliminated, they need to do use the skills. I mean, we have players like Kalinga, Rekale, there are a couple of, uh, mm. Nuruddin, Riyad Nuruddin, who has uh, Opa Manisa, has fantastic skills. So uh, to mention just few. Um, so they need to combine in a certain frame to do the, to certain aspects. So obviously we, we, we're working on it. Uh, the most important thing is what you do with the ball and what you do without the ball. That's a simple thing. And then the final question then has to be asked around what can we expect from you, Mushin? What can we expect from Orlando Pirates in 2016? That I can guarantee you that we will, we will definitely change, uh, challenge anything what is there. Uh, if you make it in the end, it's just uh, we'll look into, into the stars. But in the end, uh, we have a team. Uh, we have a supporting team, which is, uh, which is great. Uh, the management has done everything for us now, for the, uh, for the, for the technical side, mm. uh, to be successful. So it's up to us now. And everyone's been waiting for the offload of players. Yes. We're seeing players coming in. Is there going to be an offload of players? They will, uh, but uh, there's a club policy uh, which is heading uh, by our chairman and um, also very much important, also uh, the San Cosana, uh, which they have a certain, uh, we have the uh, technical director, uh, Screamer, uh, Shabalala, and um, also Floyd Bailey. There is, a, there is a harmony in that. Everybody uh, in the club has a certain um, philosophy that players just don't have been offloaded. So I have to first see, give the boys, everyone a fair chance, mm -hmm. which is very much important for us from the technical side, because uh, there are some players being eluded at a couple of players, not given enough chances. So we will do that. The second one is that if we offload players, then we need to look into that, how we're going to offload players. Uh, we need to find for them the clubs. We need to uh, engage them. In, so we just not uh, throw, throw people on the, uh, mm. the street. That's a very much important policy that uh, Pirates have. Mushinetico, thank you very much for taking the time to be with us and having the conversation with us. Uh, and giving us those insights into Orlando Pirates.